Hello there everybody, guys and gals, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome to my second Let's Play, Super Mario World, that's right. 1990, 1991, Nintendo, yeah, whatever. So, this game, oh my god, it's so addicting to me, it really is, and I love it. I'm a huge fan of this game, and like I said before, I recently watched the, watched the race of the East Coast 4, just to get, because it has been a while since I played this game, not kidding. So, uh, I actually did not practice it before, I, it was, um, about two months ago, the last time I played it, but even at that point, I didn't do a 100% run. So, I'll talk about the 100% run as I... As I go, well, actually, right here. As you can see, these numbers, 86, 62, 96, is the number of X's you've taken in the game. Not, not really stages or levels, because some levels have multiple, multiple X's. Levels will either have one exit or two exits, and I will be talking more about that later. You know how that works and stuff. But anyways, 96 is the most. When you get 96, you get that star next to you, meaning that you got a perfect game. That is exactly what I'm going to be doing, okay, 96. So, I'm going to go ahead and erase, um, I'll erase the lowest one, how about that? Just so, this one looks good, you know, 86, and then my second one's going to be 96, and now 96 on the third one. So, let's go ahead and get started with this game, it's really, really fun, so, here we go. And again, you can play two players, if you play in two player mode, basically one person is Luigi. But you don't play on the screen at the same time, you know, unlike New Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that. The new games that actually are very good in features like that. Instead, the way two players works is that if player one dies, then player two gets a shot at that stage two. And then the player two dies, goes back to player one, so stuff like that. It's Overall, it's not a very fun thing if you are playing with a complete tryhard in this game, okay? Like, because they're never gonna die. They're gonna die like once every 20 stages. So you're never going to be able to play, and then because you suck, or because you're average, you're going to die once every, like, three or four. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land, this strange land. We find that Princess Toastool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Yeah, yeah, you know, the same exact thing from the very first, well, from the first Let's Play, Super Mario 64. Even though this game actually came out before, because as you know, this is a Super Nintendo game. Whereas Super Mario 64, that's Nintendo 64. Anyways, here we go. This is the overall. You basically select courses. You can press... Actually, never mind. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> I was going to say, some, say something, but... Yoshi's House. This isn't really a level, but once you enter a level, it's considered a level, but not really. Once you enter a level, you get to just move around and do stuff. So, if you hit these things that look like uh, speakers or something, or whatever, Hit it. Hello, sorry I'm not home, but I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Yoshi, and with his whatever symbol, paw thing, I don't know what that was. Okay, so, let's just get the hell out of here. It looks all cool and stuff. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and turn to the left side. Right here it says Yoshi's Island 1. And this one over here says Yoshi, yeah, Yoshi's Island 2. We're gonna start with World 1, how about that? Yoshi's Island 1, and here we go. This game is so fun, like I keep saying. It really is. Every stage has these coins. Now, I'm not going to go for the coins, even though, I mean, I guess they are, can be included in a perfect 100% run, you know, getting, getting all five. Yeah, there's five of those Yoshi coins in every single stage. If you get them all, I believe you get an extra life, plus each one grants you a lot of points. So, you know, they're nice if you're doing those types of runs, but they're not really necessary or important at all. If you just want to beat the game, and even if you want to do all the exits. So, I'm not going to be doing that, but I will be going for all the exits. So, um, if you're Big Mario, I didn't even talk about that. You can do a normal jump, and you can do a spin jump. I think it's called a spin jump, I don't even know. If you hold down the dash buttons in the GameCube, the GameCube controller, it's the Y or the X, you will actually run. Um, if you don't hold it, you're going to walk slowly. You can't really tell there is because I'm going uphill. But anyways, in some pipes you can enter and some you cannot. This one you can. Here we're going to grab some coins. Every 100 coins that you get grants you an extra life. You can see your extra life meter at the top left corner, right under where it says Mario. It says times 5. Yeah, there's not too much explaining to do in this game because, you know, it's really simplistic in terms of features. Point of advice, you can hold an extra item in the top box at the top of the screen to use it. Yeah, whatever. Right now I have a mushroom, as you can tell. You can always press the... It's the Z button. 
in um, the GameCube, you press it and there you go. Press it again, and you basically switch. The reason why it looks like it's the same thing is because right now I'm I'm Big Mario and I have a mushroom. I have a mushroom active, and on the top I have well, another mushroom. So if I press down the Z, the Z is basically to switch items. I have a mushroom on both, so you can't really tell the difference. Anyways, you can pick up items by just holding the dash button and going up to it. You can then aim it up or sideways. In this case, you want to do it up. Aim up, throw it, and there you go. It unlocks something. Another freaking... Uh, I think those are called bonsai bills. Oh, and I missed it. Oh my god. Yeah, but um, those green mushrooms or whatever, they are actually extra lives. Over here, we get introduced to a new item. This is the fire flower. The fire flower is a very cheap item. Not as cheap as another item I'll talk about in the future. Eh, it's, it's not actually cheap. It's just, you know... It just gives you a lot more power. Oh, and I already got hit. There you go. I got hit. I turned into small Mario. And when you get hit in this game, your item in the slug screen automatically gets transferred down. So there we go. Now I got the mushroom. That was a charging chuck. Oh, I should have hit the tape. Charging chucks are perhaps the most annoying enemies in this game. That's something that you will see eventually. But anyways, when you find that big thing that looks like candy canes or something with a tape in the middle, that's, that means that you clear the stage. When you clear it, you will unlock the next exit. In this case, it took us all the way up this ladder to Yellow Switch Palace, plus we can see the overworld of some other stuff, which is really, really cool. There we go, this is Yellow Switch Palace. Switch Palaces usually have crazy gimmicks and stuff, but they're a very short course or level. They're not a real course, they're really not. So, and this one in particular, it just makes up a lot of coins appear, which means you will get a lot of extra lives because of this. See that? Got a bunch of stuff. I already have nine lives. Hey, I'm a cat! Okay, that was a stupid joke. But, yeah. Now we're gonna come over here, and there's gonna be a big switch right here. You wanna jump on it, and it says, Switch Palace, the power of the switch you have pushed will turn whatever into exclamation, yellow, block, whatever. Your progress will also be saved. Sweet. Alrighty, that's cool. It makes a, bu it makes a bunch of uh, blocks just go around the whole world. And yes, every single yellow block that used to be invisible will now be a solid block in the entire game, okay? In the entire game, every single course. So, now we're gonna go ahead to the right side into Yoshi's Island too. Here's a shell, and then here's some Koopas. You wanna go ahead and throw it here, and it gives you a one up because what you'll notice is that there's combos in this game. If you continuously keep, uh, you know, chaining stuff, in this case it was a shell, and keep hitting every enemy with the same shell, it's gonna do a combo. Well, whatever. Hooray, thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. Aww. But yeah, this is Yoshi. He's introducing this game. Cool. Gonna need a bunch of berries. Let's go ahead and hit this. To do a spin jump. I already know that. I already told you people that. Anyways, Yoshi has a very, very powerful stomp. He doesn't... Okay, if you just jump on an enemy, he will pretty much just make them vanish. That's how crazy his stomp is. There are some enemies though that still take multiple hits, such as this charging chuck. You know, you... Oh no! No! The good thing about Yoshi is that if you get hit, all he does is run off. You don't, like, lose him forever, unlike if you get hit when you're, when, you know, when you're Big Mario, or when you have a Fire Flower, or stuff like that. That's a 1-up, green mushroom. So it's really good, you know, you can get hit, and if you can chase Yoshi again, it means you took that hit for free. Up here's a vine. You know, you can just come up here, jump on it. Grab these coins, and you know, another Yoshi coin, now I'm gonna come back down. And Yoshi will always be there for you, you know? And you go back down. That's cool. Here's another Yoshi coin. Oh, I already got all five in the stage. Cool, I'm not going for that, but hey, it's nice that I got that. Here's a bunch of all these berries, or whatever they're called. If Yoshi eats enough, you usually get a gift. I don't really know what the circumstances is for getting those stuff, but... You know, it's different for every stage, because in some stages, you'll see that actually in the future. Um... He makes this other cloud thing appear, but whatever, I'll talk about that later. Here's another charge. Oh, no, no, Yoshi, get back. Did Yoshi, get back here. No, no, Yoshi. Oh, my God. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yoshi just ran off. That's another thing. If you don't finish up with Yoshi, then you lose Yoshi. Simple as that. So, guess what? Now I have no Yoshi. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, Yoshi's Island 3. 
Yoshi's Island 3, here we go, there's another one of those speakers. I don't care about hitting those things anymore, like seriously. This, this stage introduces the spinning things, or whatever you call them. And these blocks, they just move by themselves. They spread sideways, and I don't even know what the hell to call them, but whatever. Over here, there's, um, what else? We get another Yoshi, and you're like, well, this game is so easy. You just get Yoshis and freaking other crap everywhere. That's not actually true. You will see that the game is much more, much more difficult later on. It really is. We're gonna jump here, yeah, whatever. Another damn red Koopa. Ah, uh, bunch of coins. I don't really need all this. Does this pipe take you somewhere? No, it doesn't. Oh well. This thing is actually a checkpoint, the mini candy cane things. I didn't really talk about that, but that's a checkpoint. Meaning if you die, you will actually start there. So it's nice, you know, it's nice. Here's a fire flower, I'll just take that. Gonna jump over all these stuff over here, and yeah, whatever. Wow, they just lined up themselves perfectly for that. Okay, not much else to talk about in this place, because it's, as you know, it's just those spinning things here. Oh, I, do, I got trolled. Those, those green blocks usually have extra lives, but only if you get a certain amount of, um, coins in the stage, I believe. So, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know too much, but this stage was very easy. Either way, so, yep. There we go! Mario times 12 lives, that's cool. So, we're out of time for this episode. We really are, so, um, yeah. Next time, we're gonna go ahead and start with Yoshi's Island 4. So, goodbye, everybody. Until next time!